Hi, good morning. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2016 on a 16 plate. It is the legendary Mercedes Sprinter. It is the 2.1 CDI Euro 5 engine in this one. It is in the L2 medium wheelbase format with the H2 high roof. Uh, and it's in great all round condition for the age of the miles, to be fair. It's got 154,000 miles on it. Um, not a bad service history. It had a dual mass flywheel and clutch in it at 113,000 miles. Condition wise, it's pretty good to be fair. I'm going to show you a few bits. All our video walk arounds are warts and all, so we show you the good bits and the bad bits. Uh, so you get a good idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. So let's start up here on the roof. Have to say, it's looking pretty straight and tidy on that nose cone up there. Can't see any real uh, damage or anything. Stone chips, a few minor ones, nothing major. Coming down onto your windscreen, the windscreen is in good all around condition. No major stone chips, there are stone chips on the windscreen. There's nothing major that's gonna cause either of us any grief when it comes to MOT time. Coming down onto the bonnet. Uh, the bonnet, oh God, we've had this really heavy wind yesterday. So although this was valeted yesterday, it's now covered in uh, shit off the trees for want of a better word, to be quite frank with you. But the bonnet's pretty good. Uh, no major stone chips, no major damage on there either. Um, you've got uh, stuff that's fallen off the trees on there at the moment, but overall pretty good condition. Front grille and the front of the van. Uh, minor bits, okay, pretty common sprinter bits to be fair. We have a little bit of a mark there, uh, that's actually just dirt. Uh, we have a little bit of a little dent there. I don't know what it is with this little step on the front here, but it, it, they're forever getting um, broken. Um, so the, it's plastic, it's easily replaced. Um, passenger headlamp unit, that's all good. Little bit, it's not loose, but it's not quite all there, is it? Um, probably because as you can see it's got a low down scuff on the bumper there it's nothing major to be quite frank with you I don't think it really detracts from the van um, if you get down close yeah you know it's like anything it's when it's in your face but it's not really that bad if we look down the side profile of the van from this angle no major dents or dings really to point out to you it's pretty straight and tidy this van driver side headlamp unit that's all good driver side front bumper corner again minor scuffing on there um, again looking down the side profile of the van from this point uh, again no major dents or dings it has had a little bit of a repair on the mid panel it's not a hundred percent perfect um, it is what it is but uh, I'd suggest it's just had a little bit of a repair there we'll show you that a little bit more when we get around to there driver side wing is all good apart from a minor minor little ding in the wing there again nothing major but it is there so we'll point it out to you we have a factory steel wheel a little bit of corrosion on the steel wheel nothing major budget tire fitted to it that tire has that level of tread depth on there um, all looking pretty good to be fair where we are with tires anything less than three millimeters we replace legal limit being 1.6 millimeters so if it goes to the workshop got less than three millimeters we bang a new one on it for you okay mirror unit all good integrated indicators all good they're always broken on these things aren't they but this one's all good upper and lower mirrors are good driver side door glass that's all good with no excessive scratching from it going up and down corner of the roof cone that's all looking good the driver's side door itself all looking pretty good have a look at your panel gaps it all lines up nicely as it should door handle and the door lock are in good condition getting down low look at your seals the seals are in overall good condition your protective rubbing strips down the side driver's doors all looking good your side repeater there that's looking good this has had a texture repair done it done on it at some point and they've textured it in the wrong color haven't they i would imagine it's because the repair so let's just have a quick look stand back there's this mid mid panel okay overall not bad 
but this part of the panel here, literally from this swage line to here, has had a paint repair done on it at some point. It isn't the best paint repair. Did speak to the previous owner. He said somebody had hit him on the side uh, and scratched the van and they've, he's had it repaired. Um, yeah, it's not ideal. This hasn't been repaired, so it's, it's literally just this little bit here, okay? Um, you may or may not notice it. I notice it, so I point it out to you and then you can make your own decisions at that point, can't you? Um, all the lower bits, those are all looking pretty good. Rear quarter, this side, driver's side. Again, all looking pretty good. We have a little bit of rust there that's been touched in. But overall, the arches and stuff have a look inside them. The later 14 plate facelift sprinter doesn't massively suffer from rust. Um, you will get your little bits, um, but nothing major. Factory steel wheel here with another budget tire. That tire again has plenty of tire tread depth as you can see. Your protective rubber strips down the side, those are all good. Side repeater there is all good. Lower quarter thing that always gets hit is all straight and tidy on this. Rear light unit's got a crack in it. We're gonna replace this light unit for you, okay? It has got a crack in it, it has got water ingress in it. Um, they're not dear at all, so we'll bang a fresh one on there for you and then you know that that is done. But just looking down the driver's side from this angle, you know, it, it gives all the impression of being a nice, straight, tidy, well looked after vehicle, this van. Coming around to the back end, so obviously we've covered the rear driver's side light unit, that will get replaced. Your rear doors, this is always the working part of the vehicle and often the part of the vehicle that gets hit the most. Um, but on this one, again, pretty straight and level. So high level brake light, all looking good. Have we got maybe a little touching to do there? Can you see that? Yeah, there you go. But look at your door alignment. All the rear doors, they align properly as they should. You've still got the Mercedes badge here because everybody always knocks that one off, don't they? Closing the doors the wrong way. But this one's all pretty straight and tidy. Rear door handle and lock, that's all looking good. Just do your video of the individual doors. Top to bottom. Hopefully you can see, pretty straight and tidy, aren't they? We've got this safety bar on the back here. There are no parking sensors fitted to that bar. It is just the bar that's fitted. It's got the holes in there if you wanted to fit them. Um, but it's quite handy, actually. A, because if you're reversing up to anything, that will be the first thing that'll hit anything. Um, and B, it acts as a, as a step to get in and out of the van. Now, inside the van, it's actually not bad. So, you've got this grey... Um, well, there's a good idea of what it is, isn't it? Uh, corrugated plastic um, lining. Um, and that has done a pretty good job of protecting the vehicle over the years. So you've got that inside and out. Rear arches haven't got anything on them. You, ideally, you probably want some rear arch covers on it, but obviously it's been run without them on it. Bulkhead, bulkhead's done some work. It's got a few dents in it, but again, it isn't bad at all. Having a look at there on the roof, the roof's looking pretty straight and tidy. And then coming down to your flooring, obviously you've got your standard sprinter flooring fitted to it. And again, that's not in bad condition. Again, it's done a job, but there's still plenty of life left in that one. Grab handles here. Both the doors are securing into place as they should. Another common... Sorry about that, the phone's just gone off. Um, yeah, so that's the inside in the back done. Looking down the passenger side of the vehicle from this angle, again, pretty straight and tidy. All looking good. Rear light unit this side. Again, there's a really minor little um, mark there. It hasn't cracked it or anything on the inside. There's no water ingress into the unit. That's all looking good. Uh, and then as I say, looking down the side here, all looking pretty straight and tidy. Um, sliding door rail, let's have a look at that. That's in good order. The upper passenger rear quarter all looking good. The lower passenger rear quarter all looking pretty good. A couple of minor bits I'm going to point out to you. Uh, we've got a little bit of the uh, of the stone chip thing coming loose there. That could do with 
just tidying up a little bit. Again, we have another little touch in, same on this side as the other side and another little bit there as well. We have a factory steel wheel with a budget tire fitted to it. That tire again has loads of tire tread depth as you can see. Your side protective strips and side repeaters are all present and in good condition. A couple of little marks there, that should take it off to be fair. Sliding door, that's all looking straight and tidy as well. Getting down low, sills overall pretty good condition. We've got a few marks here, you always get marks on the lower part of the sill here, just below the sliding doors where people um, chip it getting in and out. Now, there is just a little scratch mark there, and there's just a little scratch mark there on the sill. Could probably do with a bit of tea cutting, a bit of touching in, and that would help to tidy it up a little bit. Up apart the nose cone on the front there, that's all looking good. Passenger door glass looking good. Passenger wing mirror is all pretty good. You've got a little scuff on the mirror housing, but your indicator and the mirrors are in good condition. Your handles, both sides are looking good. Panel gaps, all looking straight and tidy as well. Um, let's finish the outside. Passenger front doors, all looking good. And passenger front wing, that's all looking pretty good, although it has a minor little ding here and a minor little ding there. And then on the passenger side front, you have steel wheel with budget tire, tire looking like that. Um, sliding door, sliding door opens and slides back nicely, but has a tick to it. I haven't quite worked out yet where it's ticking from, whether it's the sliding wheel that's ticking or not, but it actually rolls back freely. So I don't know whether there's something stuck in there. We'll have to have a look. Door shuts, etc. Those are all looking good. Just another view of the inside of the vehicle with your bulkhead. Entry step. To be fair, it's all pretty good. So normally entry steps they get full of absolute um, rubbish. For what? Yeah, yeah. It's a more better word than shit, isn't it? Um, but they normally get uh, full of rubbish in there and and whatnot. But this is all clean and tidy. Just another view of the flooring inside. Yeah looking good and then to release it to close just press the button down and there we go and then passenger side your passenger side door card all pretty good we'll give you a little free fire extinguisher there your entry seals painted in plastic it's not looking bad Sprinter rubber mats in it. Always a good sign that somebody's thought about caring for the vehicle. Um, there is your boot, not boot, bonnet release there. I'll just release that so we can have a look under there in a second. But dashboard fascia, hopefully you can see is all good. Glove box, handbook packs in there. In the front here, roof lining. You've got storage above as well. And then if I just move our camera off the seat, hopefully you can see that your seat trim is in nice condition no dodgy stains or smells and then underneath your seats you've got your storage underneath your seats there that's all looking clean and tidy in there as well isn't it? I'll show you the driver's side in a second but whilst we're on the way around there let's have a look under the bonnet there's your Mercedes badge and then somewhere under here trying to do it one-handed which is not ideal there you go. It is a big heavy bonnet on these sprinters to be fair, to do it one handed, but hopefully you can see here now, nice and clean under there. We have cleaned it, but you can see it's all come up well. Engine bay is nice and clean. There's your coolant, the coolant is the correct colour coolant for sprinter and there's no contamination in it. There is your brake fluid. Air box is on the top here. We will double check what your air filter is looking like before it goes out the door. Pollen filter is looking a bit manky, so we'll get that replaced on it. Uh, obviously, windscreen wash is there. There's your sort of interior flitches, bonnet, bonnet nuts are all looking good. Doesn't look like they've been off on it or anything. Same with the wing nuts. Uh, engine itself, that's all looking pretty good as well. No signs of any oil leaks. 
good. There's your oil filler and your dipstick's electronic, isn't it? There's me searching for the dipstick and it's electronic. Uh, right, let's just try and close that down. Bear with me one second. You see, this is where we should be cutting and uh, editing the video and adding music to it, but yeah, sorry, it's a bit spade to spade, I'm afraid. Door cards, driver's side, clean and tidy. Don't like the electric window switch. I think we're gonna have to replace that. It does work, mind you. A uh, little bit of wear on the sill there from getting in and out. Your plastic uh, steps all looking good. You got rubber mats this side as well. Uh, pedal rubbers are all looking good as well. Driver's side seat, handle, seat base, all looking very clean and tidy. Metal bar moves the seat forwards and backwards. And then getting up into the vehicle, we have head unit here. Let's just turn it on and fire her up. So we have a couple of little things to do in here. We have a warning light that comes on here. I forget what it is now. Traction control warning light, isn't it, of some sort. Uh, we'll plug it into the diagnostics, have a look at that. I'm fairly sure it'll be a sensor of some sort. Um, Bluetooth telephone and music on this uh, on this system here. We have your um, blower fans, we have hazard warning lights, we have the central locking for the rear. ASR is like their, their version of electronic stability program. Uh, the badge is missing off the gear lever, uh, not uncommon, but for Mercedes Sprinter, reverse gears to the left and then backwards, and that is your vehicle in reverse gear. And then moving it over, you've got first, second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth, okay? Um, so that's all good. Uh, we have your big stalk here that does your indicators and wipers. You have cruise control and speed limiter on this stalk. Multifunction steering wheel, it'll run you through your computer system on the dashboard here. Uh, these buttons here run you through everything on there. Give you some idea, in the last 24,774 miles, this vehicle has average 28.8 miles to the gallon. That's not bad for the size of the vehicle, is it? Um, steering wheel, yes, there's elements of wear on it. It's all pretty good though. Buttons for your Bluetooth and your volume controls. Um, the lights are over here. Dashboard, so we've got, I think the previous owner has added, um, power there for what looks to be a Garmin unit. But what it'll do is give you USB power should you need it. You've got cup holders there. You have a USB power point there as well. Top of the dashboard, all clean and tidy. Drives really well. Um, let's have a look in between your seats, clean and tidy. There's no old McDonald's um, dirt and dust and everything down there. It's all looking pretty good. And there we go. So, 154,000 mile, two owner from you with a good history and a dual mass flywheel and clutch in it at 114,000 miles. In good overall condition, that is a warts and all video of it. Um, there are 60 to 70 photos of this van on our website, which is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the center of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call on 01905 672 080 or email us at sales at vanstoday.com worried about who you're buying off check out our reputation online we are on google uh linkedin instagram facebook um check us out on there um most of our customers will actually look at these videos and um, find them comprehensive enough to leave a deposit and get the vehicles delivered to them there's an option for you have a think about it uh, and feel free to give us a call with any queries uh, there's about 15 minutes of your life you're never going to get back but if you are interested in this van it will give you a very good indication of what it is that you're buying a uh, very noisy video today i have no idea what the fire brigade are doing over there but they're making a lot of noise but they do a good job thanks very much cheers <laughs>